welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia, you are my jewels, and today, today, you're gonna hit that subscribe button. No, I'm kidding. No, but really, hit the subscribe button, give this a thumbs up, and also leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about this video. Okay, let's just get into this. Today I'm gonna teach you how you can go viral on Instagram and take the most insane photos all by yourself. No, you don't need friends. No, you don't need your mom and your dad to awkwardly take photos of you anymore. And you don't need a boyfriend or girlfriend. All right, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share with you all of my secrets that have helped me grow from zero followers to over a hundred and I think it's 50K now on Instagram. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how you can take photos inside because outdoors is a little bit different than indoors. You have to get the lighting on point in both locations. However, inside is a little bit more of a setup process. So today I've done tons of research on how to get perfect lighting at home and make it super easy for both you and me. So let's get on to it. Okay, so, so let me show you what's good. Ah, things first. You will need to get a tripod, okay? And a Bluetooth clicker. This is gonna be your best friend because this is what your iPhone will then sit on and take pictures off of, and then it will connect to the Bluetooth clicker through your iPhone, and you will just click, and that's how you'll get the pictures. And then I will show you guys um, while I'm shooting kind of how you hide the clicker and make sure that you can't see it um, when modeling. And then, next thing for inside is the lighting, right? So, I have a ring light. Let me show you guys. I have a ring light. Um, not sponsored but I got this on Amazon and if you guys want me to um, link any of this stuff just let me know and I can totally do so but you'll need a ring light and a good source of lighting um, and one that you can move around so it can't just be like a light up there like it needs to be an actual light that you can move around I also have another light that I will show you that I use as well if I need more lighting next thing is you're gonna need a light diffuser and so here, as you can see, this is gonna open up. It's huge, so hold up. Ah! This is gonna open up, and let me show you how big this is. Hold on. This is a queen size bed, okay? That's how big it is, it's freaking huge. So you can get tons of different size sizes. Again, I'll link it below if you guys would like. And then, Next thing, so it depends what kind of lighting we have um, that you have. So right now, the reason I am, one of the reasons I'm shooting inside, I prefer to shoot outside with natural lighting, but I'm shooting inside because it is about six o'clock and um, it's not summer anymore. Like literally might cry, also might move to California like yesterday, um, please. Cause the weather here is not it, it's snowy. And like, of course we like one snowy picture, but after that it's like, okay, literally I have fucking frostbite on my toes and I'm not here for it. Where's the beach? So, <laughs> moving on. So what I'm gonna do is, since we are shooting inside and it's really dark outside, there's no natural light coming in from the windows. So I am gonna take aluminum foil. You can either purchase a, it's called a reflector on Amazon or online, wherever, or you can literally just get this is su such an easy way to make a reflector at home. Go grab aluminum foil. You probably already have it in your pantry. Save money. And then grab like a freaking old project, like a poster board. Grab something that's lightweight but large and that you can wrap aluminum foil around. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so then once you get your reflector all set up, you're gonna need something to, I just have another tripod because, I have another tripod because my life is social media and I just literally create content all day every day. So if you have another tripod, 
you can use that and clip it to that. You could somehow, if you have something that you can hang it on on a wall, great. Do something so it's at, so the reflector is like, basically wherever your head's gonna be, it's gonna be to the right of it. I'll show you guys, you'll see. So I'm gonna take this. Clip it right here. Okay, now we're gonna take our light source and we're gonna just put it over here. So I'm gonna be sitting right here. The light source is gonna be coming right here. And it's gonna be at like a 45 degree angle. Kind of looking up, I'll show you. I'm like, why is this the closest I've been to anything in so long? Wow, I need a boyfriend. <laughs> Feels nice. <laughs> okay, so here's what's going on. I took a really bright light, put a white t-shirt over it from a low angle, so it'll hit me while I'm standing right here. Then I have my ring light, and it's just going to be facing me kind of to an angle as well. And then I have my reflector and you can tell that that low 45 degree angle light is hitting it. So it can reflect off of my face when it's over here. 